Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists, doing a jewel of a duel. Jaden began his third year at Duel Academy, and Chancellor Shepard brought in the top duelists from other duel academies located around the world. Chancellor Shepard called the entire student body together to introduce the new transfer students. With each new year comes modification and improvement. Here at Duel Academy, we strive for perfection, so to keep each one of you at the top of your game, we've invited a few new students to join you. In fact, they represent the top students from each of our four Duel Academies worldwide branches. Visiting us all the way from East Academy, Adrian Gecko, and hailing from West Academy, please welcome Axel Brody, Jim Crocodile Cook. Hi, mates. Next joining us from our branch in the South, it's Jim Crocodile Cook. And last, leading the pack at North Academy, it's Jesse Anderson. I'd also like you to meet our visiting professor from West Academy. Say hello to Professor Thelonious Viper. That's that's the dude's name that I couldn't remember like so many episodes. What was it? Like four or five episodes ago. I couldn't remember his name. It's an honor. For those of you who have heard my methods are strict, you're right. However, I've always felt there is a method to my madness. I believe actions speak louder than words, so why don't we skip our over the pleasantries and get down to business? Why don't we kick off the year by holding an exhibition match right now? Jesse Anderson and his opponent will be Duel Academy's top student, Jaden Yugi. Jesse, you're a nice guy, but I'm not going to go easy on you. That's how I roll. That's not how I roll. Of course, I wouldn't expect anything less from Jaden Yugi. So as they say, let's let the best duelist win. Ready? You bet it. Game on. Do I really play as Jaden in this duel? I thought Jaden lost this duel. It's been, so, it's been forever since I watched DX. I don't even remember. Okay, I need to stop picking the one that it starts me with, because I keep losing. But they keep picking to go first, so it doesn't really affect me, because I was gonna, I pick second anyway 90% of the time. Especially with this GX. Most of the GX decks benefit from going second. Really, two dark holes? What the heck is this? Um, okay, terraforming. Neo space. Don't need Neo space yet. I'm gonna go air hummingbird for the life points because I can get two grand right now. And I'm gonna end my turn. I want him to drop a bunch of monsters and then I'll dark hole. The two dark holes gives me a little bit more options here. Gives me a few more options uh, to go about this. Yeah, Chrysalis Mole. Contribute this card while Neo Space is on the field to special summon one grand Neos from your deck or hand. Well, alrighty then. Start of the damage, it's card battles an opponent's monster. You can return the opponent's monster and this card to the hand. What benefit does that do to me? What benefit do I get from that? I'm gonna destroy him with this cat. No, I don't want to activate his effect. Okay, Neo Spatium Flare Scarab is gonna become OP because these dudes go to the Spell and Trap card zone. So, that makes this pretty easy. Okay, the fact that he can't destroy my mole. Especially, oh, hey, looky there. Okay. Please tell me. I ha okay, I was gonna say, please tell me I have an air hummingbird left. Okay, activate his effect. That's working out decently well. If I could just summon Neos here. Oh, dude. Okay, yes, good job. Thank you, Jesse. You are the man. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice. I still, which is, what is good is I still have... I still have Flare Scarab, I still have both of my Dark Holes. I'm gonna attack Emerald Tortoise, let's get him off the field. This Neos deck against 
a lot of stuff is just not gonna work, I don't think. It's just not gonna be effective. But against this, it works pretty well because I can keep bringing out different monsters. Oh no. The heck? Select the. Your opponent chooses one Crystal Beast card, then you draw two cards. That's an interesting card. Okay, E emergency call. Neos. Do I want... Hold on, let me see here. Okay, what is this one's ability? You can target one face-up effect monster on the field. While you control this face-up card, that target's effect on the field is negated. Dur oh, that's... No! That's some crap. I don't want that. I will bring Panther out, but I'm not going to fuse him. What's his ability normally? Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Dang it! Dang it, if only I would have attacked that with Panther. I wonder what the other one is. It's probably a tortoise. About, probably about to lose a thousand life points here. Just a guess. Yep. Yep. That's just how it goes. Just bad luck. This thing's gonna gain 1600 attack when I drop it. Uh, oh, never mind, it's not, because. Dude, he's just drawing cards. What is he drawing for? Oh, he's summoning Sapphire Pegasus. Crystal Beak? Oh my gosh. Okay. Convert contact. Activate only while you control no monsters. I'm one of these three. Okay, I control monster. But what does this do? Hmm. I'm actually considering dark holing. I'm gonna dark hole. I'm gonna try this. This could be the stupidest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Okay. Convert contact. Okay. The luck is real, dude. The luck is so real. Okay, well, this works. <laughs> Oh, that cuts the damage in half. That's that's pretty good. Oh, good. Graceful Charity. Nice. Fake hero. Special summon from your hand. The Neo show. It's just bringing Neos after Neos out. Okay, what does Larva do? Is Larva for Flare Scarab? Oh, it is. Oh, ho, ho. well, things just got interesting. Drop him in attack mode. He's gonna have crazy. He's got 2,500 attack. There is no reason to get rid of him. Yeah, put- the, oh, it didn't go into his trapper spell. Yeah, cut the damage in half, whatever. Oh, oh, he can only cut it once per turn! Oh, well doesn't that suck? Mm, 
terraforming. Okay, let's just attack. I think I won. I think it's GG. Yeah, cut the attack, whatever. Yep, that's GG. Okay, that was that was pretty easy. I don't know, I got good draws though. Uh, nice duel. I could have beaten you if I had Rainbow Dragon in my deck. What do you mean, bro? According to the legend, the soul of the Rainbow Dragon lives inside an ancient stone tablet, but no one knows where to find it. But when it is found, according to Pegasus, it's going to be made into a Duel Monsters card. Excellent. A fitting start for the new semester. Your first lesson is complete. As I explained to you before, I fancy myself a mana action you learn by practicing. So I'll be organizing mandatory duels every day, and I suggest you comply. Because from now on, I'll be monitoring your every move. You're my pupils now, and to succeed, you must duel. Mwah ha ha ha. Aw, man, something's not right about this. What gave that away? The maniacal laugh? Hanging with Axel campaign duel. A jewel of a duel reverse. Jesse Anderson deck avatar. Crystal Beast deck recipe. Crystal Beast Sapphire Preg Pegasus. Pregasus. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. And victory duel points. Alright. Hanging with Axel, next duel. Let's get this going. Later on, uh, Professor Viper called another school assembly in order to introduce his new invention. Feast your eyes on my newest invention, the Bioban. Start wearing, or starting now, you are all required to wear one. Over the next few weeks, you'll take part in a series of survival duels. You will all begin with the same rank regardless of your dorm color or grade level. These devices systematically gather the, and transmit data about your dueling ability to a central computer, when the measures, when, which then measures your energy, evaluates your decisions, and gauges overall fighting spirit. Once the evaluation is complete, each of you will be given a score, and failure will not be tolerated. They say you're best of the best. Uh, they call you people the elite. Now prove it. Meanwhile, Axel Brody captured Cyrus and used him to draw Jaden into a survival duel. Help me, I have a fear of dangling over deadly cliffs. Let him go, Axel. I don't think so. Well, not yet anyway. Your friend here just saved me a whole saved me a world of trouble. Instead of hunting you down, I just sat back and let you come to me. So that's what this is all about? Give me a break. I'm always up for a duel. If you wanted to throw down, all you had to do was ask. Maybe, but I couldn't take that chance. Besides, hog tying your friend over a cliff was more was way more fun. Take him down. Relax, he'll come down sooner or later, because if you win, I'll release him. If you lose, he takes the fall. There's only one person that's going down, and that's you. So as they say, well, as I say, get your game on. Uh, what is Axel? Is Axel? Axel's the dinosaur. Axel is, is, is the poor man's Rex Raptor. And then... Who's the dude with the volcanic heart? Is that... Is that Gecko? That's Adrian Gecko. He has no. It's not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Blaze Accelerator. Okay. Come on, come on, Neo Space, Neo Space. Dang it. Well, let's get this kicked off. What fusions do I have? Okay, this is weird. No one wants no one wants to summon wild wingman. Card just is that card's just way too wacky. No one wants to play that crap. Okay. Well, since I know we are playing a little bit of a different little little hand here. Um let's go with Neos. I think Neos is the safest bet. Alright. Wild Heart, let's have you go on it. Okay. Really? Oh, really? Really now? Really? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, look, another Blaze Accelerator. Oh, and then he gets lucky with a Graceful Charity. Oh, yay, then a Volcanic Slicer. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything, dude. I don't, even, I don't even know what I can draw that'll help. Uh, this would help if Neos was in the graveyard, but he's not. Okay, I'm gonna do... Hmm... 
Well, mm, can I survive next turn? Uh, what do I want to go with? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, he comes back to my hand. What am I smoking, dude? Um, this still doesn't help. I'm still just as far away from doing anything. I thought it was destroyed. I thought that's what Fake Hero did. But I'm just stupid. Well, here we go. I gotta draw something here. Uh, Fuelish Burial will work. The luck is unreal, dude. The luck is literally unreal. Okay. He wouldn't have enough attack, so I'm just gonna set him in defense mode for now. Mechanic monster in your deck on the um. I'm gonna get rid of this. What the? You have got to be kidding me. Uh, that is not good at all. I'm at 500 life points now. I am in a- I am in a world of trouble. I literally- oh, that's GG. Whee! Yay! That's GG. Great. Just freaking- just freaking great. Okay, I'm not gonna go for Neo summons, I'm just gonna go for Wingman and... I think I'm just gonna go for Shining Flare Wingman. I think that's the best strat. Okay, give me like Graceful Charity or something like that here on first turn. Pot of Greed, anything like that. So I can get some extra cards and get the, get the dice rolling here. Ah, there we go. Beautiful Pot of Greed. Really? Really? Dude, this is not what I wanted. Um, where's Sparkman? Let me get Sparkman to my hand. Well, um, <laughs> I'm I'm getting the auto summon an elemental hero if he if he does destroy Wildheart because I have that. Oh, look, we're at a stalemate! Yay! Bro, I can do this all day. I got five monsters still in my hand. Up oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go on the offensive this next turn. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, stop it. Cut it out. You know what, I'm actually gonna give it- I'm gonna give this to Wildheart. Cause he's not affected by traps, so now he's not affected by monsters that are a lot stronger. Okay. I'm gonna attack with Burst Intatrix. Oh my gosh, of course, always. It's always like this. Always just barely unable to destroy it. Yay, I take 1600 damage too. Whoopee! I need a polymerization, a fusion gate, terraforming, something. Give me anything. Not, not him. Well, I'm gonna drop him, because I want to keep an Avion and a Burst Intatrix in my hand. Oh, Firewall. 
So what does Firewall do? What does it do? Oh, he has to have monsters in his graveyard to remove. He doesn't have any more. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. He's down to 2400. I'm down to 4800. So it's not like I have a huge lead on him. Okay, uh, okay, let's see here. Sparkman. Okay, we won, I think. Hopefully. Come on, Flare Scare. Get through. Yes, GG. Whew. Okay, after the duel ended, both Jaden and Axel, Axel's bio bands activated and began to glow with an eerie yellow light. Both of them lost consciousness and collapsed. Primal Instinct, Campaign Duel, Hanging with Axel Reverse, Axel Brody Deck Avatar, Volcanic Accelerator Deck Recipe, the Tri-Blaze Volcanic Challenge Deck, that just seems like it's going to be ridiculous, Blaze Accelerator Signature Card, Volcanic Doomfire, and Tri-Blaze Accelerator, and some Victory Duel Points. Alright, Primal Instincts. What is this? This, this is Cr Jim Crocodile Cook against, uh, what's his face? Actually, I don't know who that is. I do not know who he's dueling. <laughs> Jaden eventually woke up a bit groggy. Jim Cook came to him concerned that he detected electromagnetic waves that seemed to affect certain people's behavior. So they went to investigate Hassleberry, surprisingly attacked Jim Cook. Clearly affected by the electronic electro electromagnetic waves, even Jim Cook's pet crocodile Shirley was acting strangely. Something in the air is triggered by Crocodile Shirley's primitive instincts. Normally there's a balance between positive and negative energy, but that's not the case here. Maybe that's why I passed out earlier. How are we supposed to get this, get things balanced again? We start by finding the source of the problem. Grr, attack, croc, oh, it's this guy. It's Hassleberry. Grr, attack, croc, man. Easy, boy. What was that all about? I understand the croc, but why are you going nuts? It's because Hassleberry's part animal. Yeah, you're right. He got into an X. Oh, crap, I clicked A on X. Part dinosaur, eh? I have to admit that's a new one, but it sounds fun. So if it's a fight you want, then you got you can count me in, mate. Grunt. Must duel. Don't go throwing a wobbly. I'm just looking for a friendly game. Alright, I have no idea what Jim Crocodile Cook's deck is. I don't remember. But I know I'm going second. I think second's the, when I don't know a deck, I think going second safe, the safe pick, because then I get an extra card. Really? He got, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Deck to the graveyard and so oh, okay. Well this will work. No, I don't want to destroy my own card with MST. When this card destroys an opponent's boss for a battle, okay. Um when this card is summoned, you you control a big piece golem. Special you can special summon one medium piece golem. What fusions do I have? Big piece golem and medium piece golem to summon multiple piece golem. Oh my gosh. Fossil Tusker. Okay, we're gonna do this. I think this is the best idea. Because then I can pot of Avarice eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna take the damage. What the? Oh my gosh, dude. Hasselberry, you dick. What on earth am I supposed to do with this? Dude, I've got nothing in my hand. This is not, this is ridiculous. <sighs> they ask you if you want to activate your magic card way too much. Really, dude? This is so stupid! This is so dumb! 
There's nothing I can do! There's literally nothing I can do. I've got- I have to draw something here. I have to draw something halfway decent. What the heck is this? Alright, moving from play, a rock-type monster in your graveyard. The original attack and defense of this card become the number of the- oh, okay. Okay. I guess this is how we're- this is how I'm gonna have to do it. If he sends this card back to my hand, it's over. The stupid, dark bitch has- okay, rock-type- I need the rock-type monster with the highest attack. 2100 is the highest, so 2800, okay. 28, is that the highest? Yep, 2800 is the highest. Gaia plate the Earth Knight. Oh, soul release. Oh, of course. Why am I not surprised? This game hates me. This game literally hates me. Yeah, there's nothing I can do this turn! Whoopee! Yay! This is not so stupid. What did he do? Oh my gosh. Well. Have to send the 2800 attack point monster again to the grave. I don't know what just happened. I am not sure about anything anymore. I don't know anymore what I'm doing. Wait, 1400? Oh, I didn't read the card correctly. Well, that's my bad. I didn't read the card. I thought it was the attack of the monster you... You, uh, you, uh, sent to the graveyard, so that's my, that's my fault for being stupid. That's not on anybody except myself, I was just being stupid. But that hand was so terrible, who needs, who needs two polymerizations and a fusion sage in their hand? Oh, but I lost. Well, first, has oh, you suck, Castleberry. You suck. Okay, well, at least this is a little bit better of a hand. Medium Peace Golem. Gigastone Omega. A lot of this stuff... There's a lot of this stuff that relies on... You having monsters removed from play. Big piece golem. I'm just gonna set this card face down. I'm gonna attack. Okay, that works. Whatever. Okay. Let's do this. During your state, remove from play one time. Okay, so that would be pointless. I'm just gonna not do anything else. What am I? Okay. I was, I don't know what I'm on. I didn't- oh god. Okay, that was just the worst duel of my life. We're just gonna forget that ever happened. We are just gonna forget that ever happened. 
and move on. We're just gonna forget that ever happened. We're moving on from that. Oh my gosh. My brain is not working correctly. We're just gonna... We are just going to completely forget that ever happened. Cause that's a joke. What am I... Oh my gosh, my brain is just not working. What am I thinking? Alright, this'll work. Summon a car so I can summon this thing to the field. Oh, he's just adding saber sources to his hand. Oh my gosh, how do you draw three of those? What are, like, what is, I wonder what the literal odds are of that happening. I like this big piece golem, it has the same, like, stuff as Cyber Dragon. Yeah. Only Cyber Dragons is a special summon, that's just a regular old summon. Okay. Hopefully we can duel better this time, and I won't be such an idiot. Just end your turn, Hassleberry, thank you. Look, it's another big peace golem. And now I can summon a medium peace golem. It's literally the weirdest deck to play. What? Wait. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm gonna attack... I think it's Saber Sword. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good thing I didn't go off of what I thought, because I was wrong. I was stupid. Okay, this is going much better. Maybe it just needed... Maybe it just took and needed me to be stupid for one duel for... Yeah, play your stupid Saber Saurus. Yeah, yeah, now play your stupid Gillosaurus. Yeah. Whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to bring back small piece. I want to see how small piece works. If you bring, if I bring it back now, do I get the effect? Yes, I do get the effect. Aha! And therein lies why I did that. I don't think you can, yeah, you can activate the effect. Catapult zone. I could just summon this the regular way. Do I want to just drop another big piece? Do I want to summon another small? Let's do another small. Let me go about it this way. I think we're all out of medium, <laughs> medium piece. In the deck, I, yeah, because I got two on the field, one in the graveyard. Okay, so you have to attack that. You have to attack him. You have to attack him directly. You have to attack directly. Okay, we're gonna be close. We're close to winning! We're 400 life points away! Can we do it? He's probably gonna hit me with a dark hole or something stupid like that. I can just see it coming. Nope, just throwing a monster into defense mode. Alright, please. Please, for all that is holy, just just let me get let just let me beat Hassleberry. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Let's go. Me being stupid is over. Okay. I'm all tuckered out. That's weird. Something sucked the life out of me. I think I know what. It's this bio band. I could swear when the duel ended they activated and somehow left us feeling stuffed. I don't know about you, mate, but I'm gonna have me a snoozer. Alright, over and out, boys. These students give it all they've got, and I'm happy to take it all away. Head in the clouds campaign duel. Oh, I hate that. That's a stupid mokey mokey crap. Reverse duel. Uh, Hassleberry Avatar. Hassleberry's Dino Tyranno deck recipe. Heart of the Jirak Challenge Deck, Ultimate Tyran Tyranno Signature Card, Gildasaurus Award, Baby Sarasaurus, and Victory Duel Points. Alright, so, the next deck, oh no, it's not, is it the Moki Mokis? I'm not even, no, it's not. I, hadn't the, I don't even, 
I don't remember that. Where's my? Where do we? Please tell me I don't have to do the. I don't have to do the Moki Moki duel. I don't think. The Ubel duel is going to be fun, and so is the one. I think that's Am. That's another. No, no, no. Is that the? I don't know. Is that the guy? Uh, the one of the Shadow Riders, the guy, the Pharaoh guy. Uh, but in the next episode, guys, we'll be doing Head in the Clouds. Hopefully, I won't be as stupid as this last duel, but you never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.